Uh, today it was reported that the um, the Astros were first closing in on a deal for Garrett Cole. And uh, then, seemingly short time afterward, John Paul Morosi does a really good job for MLB, uh, MLB Network, wrote that the deal was done. Sources told him the deal was done. Now we're finding out that it's not done. But they're obviously close and talking. And when the deal was done, when they said it was done, you know, just looking at my feed on Twitter, a lot of Yankee fans, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't want him here. Now, I don't know if that was the reaction that they didn't get him or they really, really truly believe that. Now, I know the knocks on Garrett Cole. He gave up 31 home runs last year. That's a lot. Um, and that's a concern, especially playing in, in a ballpark like Yankee Stadium, half your starts. It's a concern. But I will tell you this. Now, I wouldn't give up the Yankees' top prospects. Uh, I wouldn't give up Justice Sheffield. I wouldn't give up Glaber Torres. But two years of control of a pitcher who's going to turn 28 years old, I believe, in February. I want to make that deal. I want Garrett Cole on my, on my staff. And I believe in the Yankees' analytics group. And Larry Rothschild, if you read John Harper today in the New York Daily News, they believe that through their analytics that they could change the way somebody pitches and the way he um, surrenders home runs. Most of his home runs, I, I, I read, came on fastballs. Now he, throws, he has a 96-mile-an-hour fastball, but it's straight. So if you can get him to go to a breaking ball more, then he could be more effective. This guy has the potential to be a number two or a top three level starter. Maybe not a number one anymore. So if you could get him for a Clint Frazier, who I like. I like Clint Frazier a lot. But where's he playing for the Yankees in the next four years? As long as Ellsbury's here, where is he playing? And Hicks. So if you can get him for Clint Frazier and Chance Adams, who the Yankees like, but you have to give up something to get something, then you should do it. Now, one of the big holdups with the Astros, the Astros have two really good prospects that they wouldn't even surrender in the Verlander trade. Uh, one's first name is Forrest, the other one's name is Tucker. So I don't know, I don't know their full names, but it, one's Forrest and one's Tucker. I, I just remember it that way, Forrest <laughs> Tucker. They will not give them up. So I would think that the Yankee offer of Clint Frazier, this is a former fifth pick in the first round by the Indians. And Chance Adams, who has won everywhere at every level the Yankees have ever put him. Why wouldn't you make that deal? So the fact that it was done and then all of a sudden it wasn't done, I don't think the Yankees are necessarily out of it. Maybe they don't make the deal. But I would disagree with the Yankee fans to say, I'm glad we didn't get him. Well, why would you be glad you didn't get a 28-year-old that you control for the next two years at a reasonable price? 